And yes, God fucking damn it. Even in my happiest days, when our family did lots of things together, I, I tended to be one no one took seriously. The one people would cut off in mid-conversation while I was in the middle of saying something that meant so much to me. It wasn't nothing for her. Even though she loved me most to just start talking right over me and just cut me off without even knowing it or seeing something like that. I've, and even back then, in 1992, when me and my cousins worked at the Pizza Hut, the happiest job I ever had, even back then, the one thing, I, there was only one thing missing, and it would have been absolute perfection. The girls noticed every other guy but me. Every single freaking girl, every girl, every, every, without exception girl, none of them ever noticed me. But they were always noticing my cousins. In fact, girls were wanting to fuck one of my cousins. Yeah, go figure. One girl told me about was some bitching about some guy feeling on her and complained to the manager about it. And no, that guy was not me. I don't do that type of shit. It was some big black guy. And this is a black girl. But I, 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 I mentioned the name. The other, other guy, a white guy with long hair. And and she thought I was thinking that he did. She said, oh, no, I don't mind. He, I let him touch my ass. So you see, it's really a double fucking standard. Girls don't want that they... they they, they, they just don't want the ugly guys to, to touch them. They, they let the good guys, and a, a assistant manager at Pizza once was telling me she was upset because I was late getting, uh, doing my duty, so we got off, we're getting, had to go off, so we had to leave Pizza up late, and she told me, and it's really, and she was writing me up. She said, Chris is not said to be out this late. I could be raped by a guy, and he's good looking, I might let him do it. You hear that shit? So that offended me, because... What, being with me is offensive to you because I'm not good looking, bitch? And come to find out, she really was planning to go on a date and had to get out early to go on a date, but couldn't because I was late enough work. She wrote me up for that shit. Come on. God, I curse you for all this. I curse you for those wasted years when I could have been a good looking guy, but never was. And I sell my soul for these remaining years to be a good looking guy. 